Good evening. I'm very concerned about crime. So I've had a CCTV camera fitted to my front door and the other night it picked up a drunk man stumbling around on the driveway. He was muttering incoherently and urinating in the bushes. So I took the appropriate action. I said if he does it again, he's sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> I'm joined tonight by six winners of previous heats and they are on my right. Chris Thorpe, a journalism graduate who has passed out in a restaurant, a bus station, a nightclub and at Chessington World of Adventures on an especially hot day. Rachel Scott Halls, an earth sciences graduate and keen runner who has a habit of breaking small bones while running. And their captain, Catherine Drum, an educational technologist who has built a decorative rockery over a World War II bomb shelter in her back garden. All current and former employees of the City University of London Library, they are the librarians. Catherine, you played in the very first match of the series yeah. and it went to a tie break. That must have been nerve wracking. It was incredibly nerve wracking and I was just glad that we were up against a series of doctors, one of which was a cardiac surgeon because I felt like I needed it by the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it'll be a more relaxing evening tonight. This is who you're facing now on my left. Claire Haywood an author who once set fire to her sister's bed. Isabella Morris, an English literature graduate known as the Omelette Queen. And their captain, Emily Wolfenden, a computer programmer who was responsible for Norfolk's county-wide ban on ordering samples of AstroTurf. United by a passion for pets, they are the animal lovers. In your first eat, Emily, you came up with an alternative sequence. I like those. What was yours? We saw that it was going E-L, E-M and then we assumed it would be E-N, and then the last one we thought of a word beginning with E-O, which was E-ON. Yes, your, your suggestion was much more sophisticated than ours. You'll be, you'll be <laughs> promoted to questions, or demoted, depending on how you look at it, as soon as the series is over. Not too much pressure on tonight either, because you're all winners. Nobody's going to be knocked out. We're playing for the sheer fun of the thing. You won the toss animal lovers, so you'll be going first. Please choose. An Egyptian hieroglyph. Can we have the lion, please? Yes, you can. The lion question will kick off this game. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any ideas? Oh. Simon, Simon Pegg was in extra. Well. Next, please. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, um, are they like the children of these people? Oh, yeah. cool. Next, please. Yes. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay, I think. How have we got? Okay, I think children of isn't a bad plan. Or oh, are they married to them? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they the people on the top are married to the people who did the things on the bottom. As wonderful as that would be in most <laughs> of those cases, not the answer. Librarians, do you know? Um, we think that the person above um, sang with the person below. That is right, they are pop double acts. Who are the people? Um, was it Hoddle and Waddle? Mm. Glenn Hoddle and Chris Waddle, the footballers, yeah. I'm pretty sure never married. <laughs> uh, and they performed Diamond Lights back yeah. in the day. Uh, I'm not sure who Bill McRae or the who he sang with. Was it Ricky Gervais? Bill McRae, Ricky Gervais yeah. and Bill McRae were in a band together, um, yes. Sonny and Cher mm -hmm. and uh, Jimmy Somerville and uh, Richard... Richard Coles. Coles. Richard Coles. Yeah. Richard Coles. Sonny and Cher were married. Yeah. Sonny Bono became the Palm Springs mayor at the end of the 80s, but the others know Jimmy Somerville and the great Reverend Richard Coles. He's been on this show, of course. He's a great quizzer. Would you like to have a look? I am the very model of a modern major general. I have information, vegetable, animal and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical from Marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted too with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical about binomial theorem. I'm teeming with a lot of news with many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> Richard Coles there, absolutely brilliant. So well done, you get the bonus point, librarians. And what would you like for your own question? Could we have the horned viper, please? The horned viper. These are going to be picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Cardinal Cox. Uh, next, please. Three men. Cardinal Fox. Three men. Uh, next, please. Files. Filing cabinet. Files. Cardinal Pack. Box. Three men. Files. Any ideas? No. Should we just go for the next one? Uh, next, please. Ray Charles. 
three wise men, three. So oh, let's just, shall I just buzz in and we'll yeah, just say one. Um, <clears throat> the NATO alphabet. It's so often the answer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not in this case. Animal lovers, would you like to have a go? We think these are all X things. So Xbox, X Men, <gasps> X Files. Oh. Um, X-ray. X-ray. Your turn for the bonus this time. Yes, absolutely. That is Ray Charles at clue four. And you could put an X before it to get X-ray, which I think would be in the NATO alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> but the others, Xbox, men for X-men, files for X-files. Well done. That was a fun one. So that was your bonus. And what would you like for a uh, question? Could we have the eye of Horus, please? You certainly could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Any ideas what that would be? Um, no. Was missing. Next, please. Okay. Um, is that Grenoble? No. no. It's missing more things than that. Next, please. Oh. Um, I can only see the words that are made up by the letters. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Oh, blossom. Okay. okay blossom. Two ends. Uh, Two S's. Uh, oh, wait, are oh, these chicken two? and blossom. Yeah. They're the same word, but you can take out letters okay. to make a synonym. Um, yes. So we think these are the same word, but or they have the same meaning if you add in letters in the yes. spaces. So the last one would be bloom becomes blossom. And then you've got chicken, hen is the third one. Well, you're absolutely right. You call them kangaroo words because they've got, as it were, a little joey word in a pouch. <laughs> That's delightful. Uh, do you want to have a go at those first two? Oh, is it masculine? Yes. The first one. Oh, the first male. one would be masculine, male is hiding in there, and noble, you could fill in letters to make honourable. Oh. Librarians, what would you like? Uh, we'll go for the twisted flax. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Geschichte machen. Uh, make history. Yes. Uh, next, please. A new order. A new order. Well, first time. Oh, oh, game. Oh, uh, game it's game a video, video games. Video games, yeah. Yeah. But do you know what the... I don't know what Gesichter. Gesichter. Right. Should we go Let's for go the... Let's go for another one. Uh, next, please. The man in the high castle. The high Are they castle. all things that use um, alternate, um, alternate, alternate where, where, um, in where Nazis have where the Nazis yeah. have won? So, yeah. yeah. We think they're all um, either artworks or video games or things like that set in a parallel history where Germany won the Second World War. Exactly so. You didn't even need Vaterland at the end there. <laughs> they are all set in worlds. Wenn Deutschland World War II gewonnen hat. <laughs> Alternative history. What if Germany had won the war? It's not what they would be called if Germany mm -hmm. had won the war, because if Germany had won the war, they couldn't have been written. Because why would you write a book about what would have happened if, if, if I'm getting lost in a sort of palimpsest <laughs> of meanings? If you translate them back into English, what do you get? Uh, Fatherland, uh, The Man in the High Castle, Wolfenstein, The New Order. That's the video game, isn't it? Yeah, that was one? it uh, Making History? Making History, the Stephen Fry novel. And those ones, Making History and Fatherland, that is actually the titles they appeared under in mm. Germany. The middle two is just uh, our attempt at a translation. I wrote a book once with a friend of mine about uh, the porn industry, and it's quite a jolly kind of, you know, silly, cartoonish, quite, quite, quite nice book. <laughs> the German translation, Noch mal mit Gefühl, <laughs> Once More with Feeling was our title, which in English is a joke. Once More with Feeling, you know, a bit kind of carry on gropey. Mm. But Noch mal mit Gefühl, which is a more serious phrase in the <laughs> cover in Germany, is sort of black and white photograph of a topless woman. <laughs> And, I, you know, the disappointment, surely, for the German readership, thinking, what a wonderful piece of erotica, <laughs> and they write sort of terrible jokes by us about boobs. Back to you, animal lovers, what would you like? Could we have two reads, please? Two reads? Yes, you can. It's the music question. You'll be hearing your clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. That's my baby. OK, next, please. Next, yes. please. I'm a little teapot. Yeah. Oh, is it all like porcelain? China yes. porcelain China, pottery. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pottery. It is all connected by pottery or kitchenware. Mm. Very well done. What did we hear? I'm a little teapot. Yes. 
Well, the um, excerpt three is China in Your Hand by Tapao. I'm not yes. sure if I pronounced that right. Yeah, you know, that is how you pronounce it. Did you know the others over there? Porcelain by Moby. That's and right. And Little Brown Jug. Very well done, exactly. All examples of kitchenware. Last question of the round for you, librarians. Water question. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Streets were designed by the same person. Next, please. Was that 1812 or not? I'm not sure. Next, please. I wasn't thinking of him. Yeah, who'd have heard of him? Next, please. We're going to try Paris metro stations. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Animal lovers, do you know? Um, I might have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Are these what the army called each of those things? Not it, I'm afraid. Ah. I can't take it. It is specifically little to make oh, the nickname. Okay, yeah. Bucharest was called Little Paris because mm. of its lovely architecture. Tchaikovsky's second, Little Russian, so-called because it uses Ukrainian folk music. Mm. Little Corporal was a nickname for Napoleon and Little Willie, the Mark I tank prototype. That means at the end of round one, both teams have three points. <laughs> On to round two, the sequences round. You'll be going first again, animal lovers. What would you like? Oh, we have the lion, please. Yes, you can. Lion again. This time it'll be a series of picture clues. What do you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Oh, is that Verizon? Next, please. Or American? Yeah. Oh, are these airlines? Maybe. Yeah, it could be. I get Should we get another one? Yeah. Next, please. Half, half Iron Man. That's, that's a physical challenge, Half Iron Man. It's okay. like a running oh, endurance yeah. thing. Um, so, so what's... The Olympics is also uh, uh, the last thing. Is it going to be, like, an Iron Man or a... Marathon? Two seconds. Iron Man. Is the right answer. Yay! And why? <laughs> uh, we think these are, like, challenges um, of different proportions um, increasing in size. They are. Specifically with the triathlon. In triathlons, you do these uh, three different things and you can do them in sprint form. What we've got there is the logo of the US telecom provider Sprint, Olympic, half Iron Man, and getting more challenging Iron Man. Librarians, what would you like? Uh, we'll try the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth after these three? Here's the first. Cool. Is it going to be a song? Yeah. We just go for the next trip. Uh, next, please. Uh, rabbit comes out of the hole. Oh, it's how to uh, pull the bunny ears apart. It's how to tie a tie a bow. Oh, yes. Yeah. Should we pull, 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 pull the bunny ears? I don't know. Pull the bunny ears apart. We'll try that. <laughs> We're going to say pull the bunny ears apart. That's not it, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the third in a sequence for the animal lovers. Yeah, the rabbit goes back in the hole. The rabbit goes back in the hole is the right answer. What is going on here? We're tying a shoe. Exactly so. Well, it would be if you tied your shoes using a bowline knot, but uh, that's more normally, I think, a sort of hauling, shipping type of thing. The king of knots, it's referred to. It is in knot tying. Uh, I think not so much on the shoes. But that's right, the rabbit goes back into the hole. So you get another bonus there, and which question would you like? Uh, can we have the horned viper, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence is the first. Brett, uh, I don't. Yeah. Next, please. Oh, oh is that a notebook? Um, notebook sort of yeah, I was thinking there's like uh, a next place. Oh, wait, oh dear. Okay. Oh, are these? Oh, I don't know. Um, there's is Dennis it Waterman, Waterman, maybe? Like Pete Waterman. Um, or was it Waterman actor as well? He's an actor. That's probably don't know. know. Um, First to do something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brett Waterman. Wait. Do we know that you think we could make a, a funny guess at this point? First, Alton. And why would that be? Not really any reason. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Librarians, <laughs> do you know? Chris, is it first Michelle Collins? 
first. Collins is the right answer, and why is that? They're all the um, actors who played people married to Ian Beale in EastEnders. Absolutely right. They all played women lucky enough to be married to Ian Beale, going back towards his first wife, Cindy. Can you tell me the first names of all of those performers? Uh, Tamsin, Hannah and Laurie Brett. Someone's an EastEnders fan. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm not, but I <laughs> <laughs> haven't watched it for years. <laughs> oh, so you won't know what they did, which is rather brilliant, in September 2020. EastEnders had been on for many, many years, thousands of episodes, and, of course, there was a hiatus due to COVID. They suspended filming, and there was a gap, and when they restarted in September 2020, it said... Series two. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Not only do I think that's funny, I think there's an element of the, the triumph of the human spirit in that to make a joke about what was happening. I think that's absolutely great. So well done. You get that bonus. You're getting all of each other's questions. What would you like for yourselves? Uh, can we have two reads? Two reads. OK, get ready for your bonus answer on this one. Uh, not to <laughs> demoralise you before we've even started. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, next, please. Italian background. Uh, Astura Azura, uh, Moretti. Um, next, yeah. next, please. Oh, uh, Ronnie size. Peroni. Ronnie. Oh, Ron. Yes, pepperoni. Oh, yeah, pepperoni. So just say wrong. Ronnie size. So is it just wrong? Wrong. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Weasley? Not the answer, I'm afraid. Animal lovers, do you know? No, no uh, I don't know. Mm -mm. You have got a sense of what the sequence is, but you're not working out each clue. When you say Mr. Weasley, you're, you're thinking, thinking of Ron, of Ron but, but that's not what's happening. Pepperoni, Ron? which is spelt with only two P's, mm. P-E-P-E-R-O-N-I. Yeah. You're taking off the first two letters to get yeah. Peroni. The first two letters of that to get Ronnie size, R-O-N-I. So you take off the letters to get something represented by N-I. For example, things that knights say. The knights who say me. <laughs> Animal lovers, what would you like? Uh, can we have the water, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. One, two, three, S. Next, please. Oh, David. Um... Are these going to be the words in something? I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. Next, please. It's like a Bible thing. So. Fitzgerald. Um, what? Is what? it like the third name of an author, maybe? So. Oh, so is it maybe the fourth name of an author, possibly? Uh, I don't know. Um, I can't think of any author that would be like. Anyway, like George R. R. Martin, you mean? Sorry? George R. R. Martin. Oh, yes. Is that what you mean? 36 Martin. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Oh. Librarians, another bonus chance. 36 Andrew. Not it. <laughs> the numbers denote presidents. Oh. 33rd President of the United States, Harry S. Truman. We've then got Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower. His middle name was David. Who's the 35th President? Johnson. B. JFK. Oh. John F. Kennedy oh, and the F is for Fitzgerald. So next in a sequence, Baines, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Mm. Why do we just have an S at the first clue? Because he didn't actually have a middle name. Mm. He didn't stand for anything. Mm, yeah. he, his parents weren't sure which grandfather to name him after, but both the names began with S, so his name was literally <laughs> Harry S. Truman. One question remains, the Twisted Flax. That is for you, librarians. First clue coming in now. I don't know. Uh, next, please. Should we just go for next? Uh, next, please. So it's going to be four, possibly. But yeah. it wasn't elections, was it? Oh. Any ideas of what you're supposed to use? Uh, no, I can't even think of an answer to, give it to, to make up. Animal lovers, do you want to have a go? 16 to 20, and then four in brackets. No. No. Perhaps if I sang you clue two. 88 to 91 FM, BBC, oh. Radio I mean, 2. 
It's radio stations and the sequences getting better towards the best one. <laughs> Coincidentally, also the fourth one, Radio 4. BBC 1, 2, 3 and Radio 4, frequency 92 to 95. Mm -hmm. That means at the end of round two, the librarians have four points, the animal lovers have six. <laughs> Connecting wall now and it'll be the librarians to go first. So please choose lion or water. Uh, lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Put in the tube of water. Boeing, 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 Black Friday. Boeing, 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 Okay, yeah. there we go. Oh, they're Let's things go that repeat. Okay. Um, New York, New York, mirror, oh. mirror, okay. liar, yes. liar, yeah. and. Mirror, and. Uh, I don't know, tuba, tuba, mm. runner, runner, runner. Run. Oh, bang, 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 bang. Boing, boing, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nope. uh, so we'll try uh, New York, mirror, liar, tuba. Uh, Other word things. Um, Oh, are they lute. instruments? Oh, it's there's a lute, there's a tuba. Oh, yeah. There's oh, a, a liar. Horn, with a liar. Uh, okay. a liar. Okay. Well so now we've got. Yeah. Uh, what's Embraer? Do we need to do it? Airbus so, UK, Boeing. So we'll try. So we've had Bombardi, Airbus, Hawker. Um, so we had Hawker, didn't we? Yeah. And I think we tried, we tried Embraer. Embraer. So we'll try Runner? Yeah. I'm not sure what the connection between the other ones is, but I think that might. No, okay. it's not no. that one. Yeah, well, Street Hawker, uh, Airbus, uh, Bombardi, Embraer, and Embraer, Bombardi, One Life, Airbus, uh, 10 seconds. Airbus, and which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, oh, that's it. One. You've used up your lives. The wall has okay. frozen, but you found two groups. What about the connections? Pudding, Swan, Friday, Velvet. You can put black in front of all of them. Yes, you can. And the next group, starting tuba. Uh, they all sound like instruments. They sound like musical instruments. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There we go. Hawker and so on. What's that? Uh, we think they're all airline manufacturers. They are the airplane brands. That's absolutely right. And the last group, starting Boeing, which isn't in that one. Repeating. We think you can repeat them all and they give the names of films or plays. That's right, you found that connection yes. and then you stop looking for it. Yeah. Boeing, Boeing, the red herring, that's yeah. a, a Tony Curtis uh, film. So that is two groups in connections and two more connections. It's a total of six points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. You have two and a half minutes, animal lovers, to solve the water wall, starting now. <laughs> Rebel, Rebel, um, Donald, Duck, uh, uh, Honey, Honey, uh, Rebel, Rebel. Some of these are... Um, are uh, there any a double... Uh, there are Donald Duck's family. Uh, Donald, Katie, Webby, Scrooge. I Donald, think Darwin. Donald, Katie, oh, Webby, Scrooge. Scrooge. I think Darwin might be. OK, I'll cycle through those. OK, yeah, Honey, Honey, Rebel, Rebel. Talk, uh, talk. talk, talk, yeah, by Talk, Talk. And uh, Eco, Eco, yeah, Eco, Eco is a song. OK, Talk, Talk, uh, Eco, Eco, Rebel, 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 Rebel and... Honey, Honey. Yeah, Honey, Honey. Okay. Yeah, OK. Um, what was the family you said? So, I cycled okay, through we've them. got Donald, Webby, Katie and Louie, because Louie, Louie. Katie, yeah. Louie. Uh, and Scrooge and Louie, is, uh, Scrooge is as well. OK, I'll cycle through. Who is Ben Oh, there's a ward. Tony, Emmy, oh, Hugo oh, and some Darwin. Of these, I think, might be like... Oh, oh Webby's an award as well. OK, yes. so we've got five awards. Maybe. And Hugo. And Darwin Hugo. Award yeah. as well. Yeah. Hugo is science Hugo is, yeah, for sci-fi. So, I think... Okay, yes! Well um, so, we've got a family and we've got... What's the other one? So uh, S is a petrol station. Yeah, and there's Ben Tina as well. So you said there's the family. Yeah, Donald Duck's family. So it would be Donald Scrooge. Uh, Louis definitely is. Okay. And I think BD is the other one, but I'm not sure. OK. Um, BD, Donald, Scrooge, Scrooge Louis. Louis. Is yeah. that going to be OK? Yeah. OK, it's no. not that. OK, so um, uh, maybe it's not Scrooge then. Uh, maybe it's Donald, Louis, Katie, BD. Because Scrooge is like Donald, Louis, Katie, BD, definitely. Yeah. I don't know, definitely. Okay. 
Okay. No. Okay. I've got one life left. Do you uh, think, Thirty seconds. I think we one should just life. go for a random one of the, the ones that okay, I mentioned. Uh, so like Donald Scrooge, Katie, Louie. If we done Donald that one. Donald Scrooge, Katie. Uh, where will we uh, have? Uh, Donald. Okay. That's it. You've had your three lives. The wall has frozen, but you found two groups, so that's two points. What about the connections? The group starting Rebel? You can use each word twice, and that makes a song. Exactly so. Rebel, Rebel, Talk, Talk, Ico, Ico, Honey, Honey. And the green group starting Hugo. These are all awards. That's right, a range of awards. And you can get points for the connections in mm. the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. That's how it should look. What about that group, Donald and so on? Uh, so these, we think, are all Donald Duck's family members. Including well, them. I'll take it. The associates, let's say, the circle <laughs> mm -hmm. of Donald Duck. Absolutely right. And the last group, starting BD. So. Oh, um, they all sound like two letters. Uh, BD, <gasps> Katie. Well done. And That's it. B D K T M E S O. They mm. sound like letters. So that is four more points for the connections. It's a total of six. Yes. Let's have a look at the scores as we go into the final round. The librarians have ten points. The animal lovers have twelve points. So on to the missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers, teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all brown foods beginning with ch. Animal lovers? Chocolate. chocolate. Correct. Animal lovers? Chili con carne. Yep. Animal lovers? Chestnuts. Yum. <laughs> Librarians? Chicken chasseur. Correct and well said. <laughs> Next category, kangaroo words <laughs> and their joeys. Animal lovers? Tracked and traced. Correct. This one's nearly impossible. Utilised and used. Next clue. Animal lovers. Slithered and slid. Yep. Librarians. Variegated and varied. Well done. Next category. Film quotes from the 1990s. Animal lovers. Show, Show me, me the money. money. From Jerry Maguire. Don't know this one. I see dead people. No spoilers. Next clue. <laughs> Too late. Your bell and the buzzer went off at the same time, or the other way around. You probably would have said, I'm the king of the world from a Titanic. But it's the end of the show. And looking at the final scores, kings of the world with 18 points, the Animal lovers, librarians, you finish with 12 points, but you're not out. You just have to play another game to get through to the next round. Well done, everybody. Thank you for playing and thank you for watching. There'll be more fun next week when we've got a question about successive 12th century popes. I expect some of you are Googling it as we speak. The rest of you, well, you know them already. Good night. <laughs>